So if you guys have any issues at all, or if you have any feedback you want me to forward to move, absolutely do so. I'll reach out to them again. I'll let them know good or bad what you guys have heard, and uh, we'll go from there. What's up guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry about the lack of videos. Again, we're in Florida. Shay is at school right now, and we're about to make our next move at the end of summer too, where she's getting assigned. She joined the Air Force for those who haven't been following along. Anyways, bigger point of this video is I wanted to reach out to everyone and first of all, thank Move. I made a video a while back on the third gen lower ball joints that I picked up. Um, I bought two lower ball joints um, from Move. One showed a 555 product and the other one was a black product that looked very similar to the AutoZone, O'Reilly standard Chinese um, made products that you generally see um, and a lot of people have issues with. So I made that video basically saying, hey, don't buy this black piece, um, stick with the 555s or OEMs. I don't know what's going on with this black piece. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I don't know, it must be a mistake. Basically don't buy it. Well, Moog saw the video and they reached out. Uh, long story short, I'm gonna make another video on my conversation with them and the things that they helped me understand better. Uh, essentially, I, s I sat on the phone for about an hour with their engineers, um, their sales team, and they kind of just wanted to go over the conception or the misconception that people are having in regards to their brand and quality control and that sort of thing. And also they wanted to just get feedback on what I was hearing as far as um, from people. So I thought that was really cool. I talked to them for quite a while. They gave me some information. Um, they basically told me that that black piece that I bought was actually their upgraded new piece moving away from 555. Um, they were getting higher quality distributors, higher quality parts. And that was actually an upgraded part from the 555 product. So I was misinformed because I just didn't know and they wanted to help me steer in the right direction with that, which I thought was really cool because I was completely off in the wrong direction with that. And that's on me. I gave them some feedback. The biggest thing on that part being, hey, if this is a Moog product, at least label it somewhere so I know it's still a Moog product. I thought maybe it had been swapped out or something. And uh, I think they took that to note and that was really cool. So again, I'll make another video on that. Fast forward a little bit. I reached out to them again, let them know I picked up the Tahoe. Um, I had some things that I wanted to do to it. They asked me what parts I was looking at needing and they sent some stuff over. So I was really impressed with that. I wanna thank Moog a lot for that. I just wanna show you what they sent me and what I'm gonna be using on the truck and go from there because I need to rebuild the front end a little bit. And again, I wanna thank Moog and reach out to everybody and just let them know that they are doing more as far as quality control and where they're sourcing their parts from uh, as two big things. So real quick, this is what they sent. These are the upper control arms for the Tahoe. New ones, all new bushings and everything, so that'll help out. Uh, new seals and everything. That'll be a huge upgrade there. Long story short, my Tahoe is a, little, a bit more worn out than I thought, especially for the mileage, and I uh, need some upgrades. So that'll be a nice start. A um, Couple more boxes that they sent. They did send inner and outer tie rod ends. These do have the Moog seals and they do say Moog problem solver on the bottom part, which is nice. So at least I can identify their products with this. So that's good. So this is inner and outer tie rods that they sent. Really looking forward to swapping those out. And along with that, they also sent, like I said, I got inner and outer, uh, inner and outer tie rods, um, idler arm, which would be a nice swap. The Tahoe lived by the ocean and was just, a little bit more worn out than I thought it was going to be. And then I believe this is the Pitman arm. So I got that too. Really happy about that. Also what they sent was really cool surprise was this right here. This is actually front torsion key. So I can lift the front end um, up to three inches. I think I'm going to shoot for two and a half, but that'd be nice. So I can give the Tahoe a little bit of lift and uh, see if uh, I can go ahead and get the back done, maybe toss on some 35s, which would be really cool. These do and are labeled made in Taiwan, just FYA, so that you know. But it's a good quality part. I've never messed with keys too much, but I'm glad to have those. It also came with new hardware too, which is great, so everything underneath my rig, it's all rusted out. So again, one thing, Moog a lot for sending all this stuff, for listening to the people that are buying their products and giving feedback. Uh, that was the biggest thing I was really impressed with. They didn't have to reach out to me. They didn't have to contact me, um, but they did. They took the time to do so because they're really focused on basically improving their branding. Basically like Champion did, except Champion was a shitty company to start with, but they somehow turned their way around. Moog has always been a great company and they even proved it further with the customer service support 
um, and everything that they gave me as far as uh, products and just information. They really hooked it up with the information. Like I said, being able to talk to engineers was extremely informative. I'd never been able to do that with any company. So to have, have that opportunity was really cool. I'm just a garage mechanic, as you guys know. I don't do everything perfect. I'm not great by any means. I'm always learning. And so it was really neat to be able to take that opportunity and just kind of learn. So thanks again for watching. I'm gonna post another video on my conversation with them, what I learned from them, and go in a little bit more detail. But if you guys have questions, comments, hit me up below, especially if you guys are third uh, gen forerunner, or I think it's first gen tundra, and you have questions on lower ball joints where everyone says to go OEM. Mook specifically told me that they wanna be better than OEM and be more known for a replacement part in that regard. So I thought that was pretty cool. So if you guys have any issues at all, or if you have any feedback you want me to forward to move, absolutely do so. I'll reach out to them again. I'll let them know good or bad what you guys have heard, and then we'll go from there. So hopefully everyone's doing well. Hopefully see you on the trail soon. Apologize for the videos. I'm literally full-time watching a two-year-old right now until Shay gets her next assignment. So I'm really trying to help out with the family, and, uh, and you know that just takes up a lot of time while Shay's studying and doing everything she can to pass and move on to the next place. So thanks again. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks. Appreciate it, Moog. <laughs>